The crisis, the coronavirus crisis is a uh, virus crisis is redefining the workplace as we know around here, that's for sure, forcing millions of Americans to do their jobs remotely. And according to a new CNBC uh, change research survey of voters in swing states, some of this uh, new normal could last long beyond uh, the outbreak. A uh, lot of stuff like this, Steve. Uh, Steve Leisman joins us now with more on the state's a place survey. I mean, I don't ever expect to see a guy sitting in a toll booth at the Lincoln Tunnel anymore. I mean, there's so many things are going to just go away because of this, right? I, I, did you notice that? There's no, no you yeah. got to, I mean, no, I, there's jobs are, being, are, are moving or, or, or you're staying at home or I don't know what this means. It, it kind of scares me a little. Well, but that's, that's what we're trying to chronicle here, Joe. This is the national part of this States of Place survey. And, and we want to know, you know, obviously the big economic question, when do we go back to work? But maybe an equally important question, how do we go back to work? And if you look at the data here, what we find is that 42% of Americans are working at home. 9% were already working at home. 14% working at home more than before. 19% now, but never did it before. And 58% are not working at home. Now, we found a lot of gaps in this data here between Republicans and Democrats in different parts of the country. The most pronounced gap you might imagine is an income gap in those who are working at home. Of uh, people making under $50,000, just 24% work at home, right in that middle range there, 36%. And those making $100,000 or more, 46% are able to work at home. And that really brings up the average. Now, big question, because this is going to get to the last thing we're going to ask. Before we go there, are you more productive at home? Well, 39% say it's the same. 21% say they're more productive. 40% say they're less. I'm guessing they have kids running around the house. But look at that number. 60% are indifferent. It doesn't matter in terms of their productivity as far as they're concerned if they're at home or not. Now the payoff question, I think the most important. You know, when we go back to work, how are you going back to work? Well, 24% say they're now going to work entirely or more from home compared to how they work. 55% are going back and 20% are not sure. So now do the math. If you own a million square feet of real estate and you think you need employees for, I don't know, pick a number, 10%, 20% fewer employees to occupy that real estate, there are economic implications here. Maybe we'll end up being more productive, more telecommuting. Maybe there's a positive effect on the environment, but all kinds of things, Joe. That toll booth you mentioned, well, what about state tax revenue on those toll booths if fewer people are commuting? Anyway, the idea here is this poll suggests that when we go back to work, there might be lasting differences in how we go back to work.